Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Sim Games 2, and I'm your host, Tony. So, as you probably know by now, City Skylines 2 has been announced along with the trailer. There have been several videos that have been made that analyze this trailer to see what speculations and predictions could be extracted from it. But here's what concerns me, and this is the message at the beginning of the video that says, not actual gameplay. I find that to be confusing, because what does that mean? It certainly suggests that the video does not depict the actual gameplay. But then the question becomes, well then how different will the game be from what is being presented to us? There's no end to the great ideas that people have had for the sequel, and things that could be improved on to make the game better. There have been things that were wrong with the original city's game, but there are some larger and more important ones that have bothered people much more than others, such as the way that the traffic AI worked, the bugs that happened with mods when updates were made, console players that were not able to install assets or mods, and that the game limits were just too low, which made the game really anticlimactic. Those are the biggest ones, just off the top of my head. There were, of course, all of the unrealistic and goofy looking aspects of the game, which are too many to get into. It's a game that's supposed to be fun to play, but I think that this was something that turned off a lot of people. Sure, 10 out of 10 people recommended the game, but those same 10 out of 10 people also had their fair share of complaints about the game. When the City Skyline sequel was announced, I think that a lot of people were concerned about whether or not the things that annoyed them the most about the game would be addressed and fixed. Sure, we can watch the trailer to see the clues about what we can expect from the new City Skyline sequel, but I'm not sure that this tells us too much. We have since found out that in the background, they have been working with some players and content creators to get their feedback and input into the development of the sequel for the new game. This is a good sign, and I think it's very encouraging, as it indicates that they're going to be listening to the City Skylines community. But I'm not ready yet to make the leap that this means that they're going to fix most of the broken parts of the game. I understand that they're a private company that is entitled to not disclosing any information to us if they don't want to. I think that's something that we could all understand. But at the same time, I think that it would be nice to know if they were addressing some of the things that we were most concerned about. That does not mean that they have to tell us everything about the sequel, but I think that it would be very reassuring to know that they were making some of the changes to what concerned us the most. I don't think that this would take away from the hype or excitement in any kind of way. Now I'm not going to make any predictions or assumptions here because it wouldn't be fair to. Maybe the developers have learned a lot from the past 8 years and are going to put that to good use in the sequel. But then again, when SimCity 2013 came out, with the promise of what was supposed to be the most amazing city building game ever made, it was accompanied with a trailer that looked nothing like the game, and well, we know what happened. So here's my question. Do you have concerns about the sequel, or do you have a lot of confidence in it?